And what we see is kids pulling carrots out of the ground and saying, this is what a carrot looks like. But, and being able to chop it and taste it and feel it and smell it and follow food along that journey, that's something that you don't get at a grocery store. A story that I've heard really often is of folks who are elderly in their neighborhoods, who maybe don't speak the same language as the farmer, and who will come up to them as they're growing food in a front yard, for example, and actually take the shovel or the rake out of their hand and show them their technique for doing it. So I think food has the ability to kind of bring community members and bring all people together around all kinds of conversations and issues and, and some opportunities to explore. I think it's quite magical. is embracing this idea that we should be rethinking our spaces, we should be rethinking uh, daily behaviors like mowing a lawn, growing a lawn, uh, instead now we can plant. And people don't consider that too different anymore. Having a policy that actually legitimizes what people have been doing and making it okay to have chickens and bees in your backyard and allowing agriculture into the city is something that's really exciting. Food plays a really important role in making our communities more livable, more sustainable, more vibrant and dynamic places. Um, you jump out of the sky train, I'm at city center, and the first thing you see is an Indian food cart with a Korean food cart next to it. At, at first it was just hot dogs and chestnuts, like I said. <laughs> I mean, now we have, you know, non kebabs and, you know, together with like grilled cheese. We are learning that we can actually grow it locally. We can, we can consume it locally, and that means that we're supporting a whole local economy. From backyard gardening, to community gardening, to massive farms across the city, you're not gonna be able to look at one block in this city in 10 years and not see some part of the local food economy taking root in that, in that part of the neighborhood. Doing this food work is really important to a city because of all the other things it can bring to it, whether it's those cross-cultural connections or whether it's creating the opportunity for small food businesses and people to actually create a livelihood. We're, we're, I mean, we're so proud of, of the cultures and, and, and all the ethnicities that we have and I think the food reflects that. Um, when you create a model that brings people together where they're sitting at a table as equals and celebrating food, it really makes for a beautiful experience. Uh, we want to live healthy. We want to include in the definition of health not only our bodies and the nutrients in our food, but also the way we speak to each other and interact with each other and the way our environment is reacting to how we treat it. It's about healthy cities, it's about affordable cities, and I really think it's about equity because everyone can participate. <laughs>